Are you aiming to prepare for CPWD Deputy Architect examination but are unsure as to how to go on with that? Then we are here to help you with that. Hello everyone, this is Monali Mishra from KP Classes and we are here launching a new batch for the CPWD Deputy Architects preparation. And this new batch is going to start from 25th of October. Now, as you might already be aware of that, CPWD had released 53 vacancies for the post of Deputy Architect. 53 is a very good number and this opportunity is a very good opportunity because this is for the post of Deputy Architect, which is definitely an A-grade officer post and this is the highest entry level job. So for the field of architecture or in the field of architecture, this is one a very golden opportunity, which definitely should not be missed out by anybody and everybody should at least go and attempt the examination and before attempting you should prepare 100% for it because nobody knows you can clear and you can become an A-grade officer in CPWD organization. Now, uh, you know, it, it's a little bit, especially if you have gone through the syllabus, it might be a little bit confusing as to how to go on because the syllabus is not very, uh, you know, very pinpointing like other examinations, generally syllabus is laid down a lot of things. But CPWD has a pretty open syllabus. They have mentioned the topics, but they have not laid down everything in depth. If you're a little bit unsure as to how to go on with the preparation, how to start with the preparation, sometimes it happens that we have had a little bit of gap and we don't know how to kind of resume with that, then we are here to help you with that. So we are starting a new batch, as I've already mentioned, from 25th of October. And in that batch, we will help you be prepared for the examination in an all-rounded manner. Now I'm going to walk you through a few key important pointers or you can say advantages of getting enrolled with our batch. Firstly, in the batch, we will be covering everything in detail and over an extra. Definitely, because see, there is no defined limit. So, we always try to go in a little bit extra so that anything out of the box, even it is asked, it is covered in your coaching classes. Secondly, you will have access to study material which is specifically curated for your examination. So whatever study material is there both in hard copy and soft copy as per your requirement that will be available to you. So you don't have to go anywhere else like searching for your you know study material you're having you'll be having the access to study material also. So now you have a huge area from where you can do these studies. That is one thing you have notes which will be shared in the classroom and in the classroom a lot of times the faculties also take up a lot of different things a lot of different subjects which are not covered or which are not maybe included in your study material a lot of out of the box things and then you have your study material so in and all you have a huge source from where you can prepare for your examination in the classes also your previous examinations uh, question papers are also taken care of are uh, looked into analyzed thoroughly and along with not just cpwd but along with that we also look into other government exams, examination question papers, so that you can at least have a kind of a view that even if the, you know, organizing team or the organizing uh, department is different, but still we can kind of have an idea that what are the different types of questions which can be expected from a certain examination. Now, as you might be aware, if you have gone through CPWD papers, and if you have not, then I'll tell you that CPWD questions are very conceptual oriented. That is just knowing or remembering definitions or remembering a few standards and all is not going to just help you. You need to be conceptually clear about things. Definitely standards are important, but you have to be conceptually very clear about different, different topics. That is why our main priority is to make sure all the concepts are clearly explained to you in the class. Now, along with this, once you are done with all the preparation, everything is covered in detail. Now, the comes, now comes the point where you basically implement those uh, learned knowledges. You test how much you have learned. You kind of test where you stand. So for that, we also have prepared specific test series, specific section-wise test series, that is, let's say, subject-wise test series, as well as full-length mock test series, which is going to give you a complete experience of the examination. So that when you finally go for your D-Day, you're prepared for it and you don't feel nervous or you don't feel, you know, kind of overwhelmed by the emotions. So this is an all-rounded approach when we are not just kind of helping you in the class, we are giving you extra study material. Along with that, we also upload a lot of extra documents from which questions have been asked previously as well. And along with that, to test your knowledge is ultimately end of the, at the end of it, we have the test series also. Now, uh, as you might be aware that the dates are not yet announced, so the classes will be held accordingly. The dates are announced. After that, the classes will be held multiple times a week, let's say six to seven days a week also. It can range somewhere from three to 
three days a week to six days a week. One day uh, off will be tried to give into you so that at least you can revise whatever has been done. So that uh, frequency of the classes kind of depends on the distance from the examination. So the more number of days you have, we try to go take it a bit slow. As soon as the dates are uh, kind of or uh, you know given out it will be taken up the frequency will be increased so it can go up till six days a week also because obviously that amount of preparation is required the form filling has already been done people have or students have started preparing for it already way back so if you have not yet started definitely you have to gear up and this is the right opportunity the batches are starting from 25th of october do not think anymore just try to you know put give yourself 100% whatever you have give 100% of it to the examination the dates are yet not announced so you do have quite some time to kind of put in your preparations if you want to know a little bit more about the course if you want to get to know about the faculties or if you want to get to know about anything related to the course with respect to this you can call on the number which is given on the screen or you can put down your queries in the comment box below also thank you everyone